I'm Zach Floyd from Jimico Marine, a subsidiary of Airmar Technologies, and today we want to talk about Airmar's new diesel flow meter, which really stands apart from a lot of other uh, products in the market because of its innovative design, easy installation, and simple programming. So what do we have on display? Um, so behind me, we've actually constructed a visualization of what a diesel flow system is, is going to be like on a boat. Uh, we have our diesel tanks with simulated diesel fuel in those tanks. Uh, we have some generic pumps that we're using in order to simulate both supply and return. Now on a diesel engine, uh, you're going to have one output from the engine which is both supply and return, but for again, for demonstration purposes, we're going to run two pumps to, to, to simulate that supply and return feed to our diesel flow meter. So one of the common questions we have about our fuel meter is how do you get the connection, how do you get the data from the fuel meter to the vessels in the MEA 2000 network? And it's actually very straightforward. So with the fuel meter, it comes equipped with a factory six meter cable. And that six meter cable terminates in a device net connector, which in this case is connecting to an ActiSense SBN-1. And this device net connector uh, is going into a powered and terminated box which is then connected to the smart boat's secondary bus. Once it makes it through the secondary bus we program the module and the module is now feeding the data from its primary connector to the vessels in the MEA 2000 network. So again it's a very simple and easy to make connection with factory connectors. All that's required is 12 volts and programming the the sensor within the Airmar smart boat system is very straightforward. Dealers love the accessories that we carry at Jimico, and some of the units that we have on display would be the diesel flow deaerator. And the deaerator is an essential part of an installation where you can bleed the air from the diesel lines without having to crack into that fuel system. So not only is it a safer way to get air out of the line, but it's also a lot more convenient and clean. You're not you know, trying to scrub diesel out of the bilge after you do the installation. And some of the other units we carry is a full range of banjo fittings. So we have the fitting and the bolt. Uh, we have the very common sizes that'll fit in most applications, which we actually used when we plumbed our, our demonstration system on display. So we have banjo fittings up top and below. We have banjo fittings going into our digital, fuels, uh, digital fuel meter. So again, just a very quick and easy way to get the appropriate plumbing on the vessel. Uh, it's also very safe and we have a full kit. Just let us know what you need. So in addition to the accessories we offer at Jimico, we also have a full line of fuel meters designed for, for varying flow. Uh, and we can measure everything from one liter per hour all the way up to 4,000 liters per hour. And one of the really innovative products that we carry is the dual chamber flow meter. And, and again, it's a very innovative product. Uh, Airmar is the only producer of this product in the marine market. So it's got both dual chambers, so it's got a supply line and a return line in one housing. It's very economical, it's cost effective, and overall it makes the plumbing a simpler task to accomplish. But what happens if the fuel lines are not in proximity, right? So in some applications you might have a fuel line on the port side and then for the return and the supply line might be uh, on the, on the opposite, uh, opposite side of the hole. So in that situation we would recommend a single chamber. So a single chamber would require that you install one sensor on each line. And again, because the lines are not in proximity, you're not rerouting fuel lines through the boat, which is itself a process. So what we have you know, on display is the larger single chamber uh, flow meter. And this particular model has an optional LCD display as well as anti-tamper. So we can ensure that uh, no one's actually messing or, or trying to adjust the flow metering within the sensor itself. So another reason that we may want to consider using the single chamber fuel meter is if the supply line to the engine has a different flow value than the return line back to the tank. So in, 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 you know, in, a, in an application that is less common but it still does happen, you may have a supply line of 250 liters per hour, but the return line is only 100 liters per hour. So again, mix matching these sensors is perfectly acceptable. So, Another question, uh, a major one that we have is, which fuel sensor do I need? And that determining uh, factor is going to be, what is the cumulative flow going from the tank 
to the engine and then from the engine back to the tank. So we can look at the consumption of the engine, but that doesn't always tell us what actual volume of fuel is, is, is going through that fuel system. Uh, so if you can't find that information, feel free to give us a call, send us an email. We have a lot of resources at Jimico that we can use to help select the most appropriate sensor for your application. Our contact information is at the bottom of the screen and uh, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great content coming in the very near future. So if there's questions, problems, concerns, you want to say, hey, shoot us a line. We'll be glad to take those questions and comments. And thank you for watching.